welcome back to the channel i've taken uh two days off but we have a brand new video from call of duty and himself the multiplayer trailer it's a little two minute video but no matter what we are going to be reacting to it and having a look hopefully this does reveal every single map in this game and some of the weapons who knows but like i say it's a two minutes long video so let's get straight into it Wow, that was mental. Um, that's going to get copyrighted because of Eminem in there. But straight away, uh, we got obviously a few little jump, jumpy bits. But they'll just go through it. Uh, that looks like a LMG there. Caught the right shield terminal. What a map. Um, as you can see, the plane just here. Uh, that. Then we jump into a guy, Dolphin Dive. Dolphin Dive will return in this game, as it was in our MW2. I'm going to stick it into mute, because... <laughs> um, well, you know, I'll keep it in there. So straight away we get a favela um, clip. Um, lovely graphics as always this is the, like the main street there's like a building over here all the roofs are over here and this big long building is uh, to the right of this building uh, obviously that looks like a sniper rifle maybe an SMG uh, another sniper 16 iconic maps as we know that was um, that is Wasteland, I believe. Looks very... Yeah, yeah, that's got to be Wasteland. And we move straight into another shot of Favela. Afghan, everyone knows that map. Uh, into Derail. This is a nice, short, snappy two-minute video. Um, I... Yeah. Higher eyes, man. They're showing a lot of higher eyes. <laughs> uh, sub base. That looks like invasion. Shotgun. That little knife thing there. That, that looks cool. Oh. Is that our first look at Diamond? 
if I can pause it in a in a decent manner here. Okay, that's the best we can get. But is that is that a diamond camo? Questions? Who knows? Um, that is underpass, which again looks this these graphics on these old school two thousand nine maps. Ah, well done, uh, Sledgehammer and Raven, even Treyarch and all that. There we go, terminal. The uh, the plane is now blue. I'm guessing there's still the plane behind us. Of course, up there's a long walkway bit. Uh, that's like the building where you can get on the roof. Hopefully, and it still looks like we can get on the plane. So, dubs there. That looks like a grenade launcher. Um, that looks like skid I believe. And then we have a gun here with a uh, scope on it. Not quite sure. Don't know what that is, a new... Still Skid Row. Captain Price, of course. Back into Derail. And here we go. Another map. Iconic 1v1. On Rust. I'm not sure what this map is. Who knows? Estate. Which of course we saw the house in, in one of the maps in MW2. But yes. Wow. Obviously the multivariate uh, trailer. We have Call of Duty Next happening in two days time uh, which i will do a videos for but yes that is the multiplayer uh, multiplayer trailer now there is something else that's being dropped uh, this is another short little video they've released call of duty modern warfare 3 we've added a new way to customize your weapons aftermarket parts aftermarket parts are a new option within gunsmith a way for players to come back to a weapon that they may have already mastered or played out and it's going to give them an entirely new dimension to enter so essentially you can put new build kits on weapons like you can turn like that is the rene into a smg with the gun in a way the regular attachments can't think of them as remixes for the guns really the easiest way to say it is they're nearly a new gun they are powerful meaningful changes to these weapons caliber the way that they fire both rate of fire as well as potentially the fire type we're going to have one of our heaviest light machine guns in the game have a conversion kit that turns it into a bullpup, which greatly shortens the configuration of the gun and makes it so that you can really run and gun with it. You can spray from the hip, you can sprint out way faster than you could with this much longer, heavier version of the weapon. Aftermarket parts really aspire to just be fun. We want some of them to be just absolute oddballs that players are completely caught off guard by and want to get in there for just... Oh, we have a dual weapons. Um, they look like Uzis. Just the sheer spectacle of it. It's going to expand. Just a different version, I guess. We've put a lot into aftermarket parts, and we are so excited for the community to get their hands on them. Yes, that's really all I have to talk about in this uh, video today. Uh, I'm so hyped, of course, Call of Duty next is on the 5th, and then we have the beta straight after that. So yes, uh, that is it, the short video today, unfortunately. Uh, tomorrow we'll be continuing with the uh, player career mode on uh, FC24. And of course, um, October 5th we'll be playing, well, not playing, uh, we'll be covering Call of Duty next. So yes, if you are brand new here, guys, I'm trying to hit 50 subscribers by November. We are 1 away 49. See if you can join that, it really help me out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.